what's going on guys? It's your boy Keed. I hope you guys all are having an incredible day today. I know I am because I actually just got a call from this lady a couple minutes ago and she told me that I won a free house. I don't know what I did to win the house, but looks like I have another house now, so that's pretty cool. And actually she hooked me up with a little bit of a deal. For everyone who likes this video right now, this lady will call you too and give you a free house. This is a crazy opportunity and all you have to do is like this video and a house will show up in your backyard and it's completely free. I know it sounds crazy, but just wait until your phone rings and a house appears in your backyard. It's pretty cool, dude. But anywho, today I was scrolling through a beautiful site known as YouTube when I stumbled across this video titled World's Dirtiest Man. He has not bathed for 60 years. And I instantly had so many questions. So today we will be watching a video about a man who doesn't ever shower. So yeah, grab your dirt, grab your bacteria, and let's get dirty. Gary, I'm sorry. Meet 83-year-old Amal Haji, who hasn't bathed in over 60 years and is considered the dirtiest man in the world. Jesus, dude, how hard could it be to take a shower? How in the world have you not taken a shower in 60 years? I don't get how that's even possible. Like, how can he even deal with his own scent? Like, he has to smell so freaking bad. Also, like, how hasn't bacteria eaten him alive yet? There's probably all kinds of organisms living on his body. He got a whole ecosystem on him. Actually, scratch that. I bet organisms don't even want to live on his body. I don't care if some bacteria likes rotting, decaying flesh or whatever. This guy has to be way too much for them. Like, dude. Dude, not even bacteria wants to be near you. How have you lived 60 years like this? I can't even feel bad for the guy because he does it to himself. Like, there's no way this guy hasn't had at least one opportunity to bathe within the past 60 years. He wants to be like this. He lives in a small village in the southern Iranian province of Fars. And according to the Tehran Times, he believes cleanliness brings on illness. This guy thinks that cleaning yourself makes you sick? I'm pretty sure it works the complete opposite of that. Cleaning yourself kills germs and bacteria that lives on your body and causes you to be sick. If you don't shower for a long time, you're gonna catch some weird diseases, dude. Like, who knows what this guy has? Think about it. This guy doesn't wash his hands after using the bathroom. He doesn't clean his face in the morning. He doesn't freaking shower. He has to have so much literal crap built up on his hands from 60 years of taking a crap and not washing his hands after. Like, that's so bad. This dude probably got E. coli and a bunch of other funky diseases. He drinks over a gallon of water per day, eats rotten meat off dead animals, smokes animal feces and cigarettes. This dude eats rotten flesh, smokes animal poop, and smokes cigarettes. Okay, what? This guy is full out torturing himself. There's no way this man enjoys to eat rotten meat from dead animals. There's no way whatsoever. That is so gross. Like, why? Why do you do this to yourself? There has to be a better reason other than, oh, it helps me not get ill. No, it doesn't. And if you really did care about your health, then please tell me why you smoke cigarettes and animal crap. If you are so worried about your health, then why do you smoke literal poo? What the heck? And when asked to eat clean food and drink fresh water, he becomes upset. How dare you offer me normie food? I'm so offended. Seriously though, how are you gonna get upset over someone offering you normal food? What is it that's so good about eating rotting dead animal meat? I'm sure it doesn't taste good at all. Like why would rotting meat taste good? It would taste like, well, rotting meat. This dude, man. I can't get over the fact that this dude wakes up in the morning, fries up some rotting meat, and just eats it. And he thinks that that's a delicious meal. What is wrong with this dude? Haji knows that he is covered in a thick layer of dirt, but he really doesn't mind in the slightest. He believes being covered in dirt means that he is guaranteed to stay healthy and live for a long time. Okay, even if that was the case, even if being covered in dirt meant you live forever, guess what? You still smoke cigarettes. You still eat decaying animal meat. You literally smoke crap. You smoke crap, dude. If not showering isn't gonna kill you, I have a good feeling smoking feces is gonna lead to your death. Why do you go out of your way to not shower for 60 years? Because you have this idea being dirty makes you live forever. But yet you do all this other stuff that is bound to kill you. Haji is almost the color of earth and manages to almost completely blend in with his surroundings. In fact, it's easy to mistake him for a rock statue if he sits very still. 
He used to live a normal life in his village with his family until he began to believe that keeping clean was ruining his health. Yes, because removing all the bacteria from your body is ruining your health. Who gave this guy the idea that cleaning is bad for you? Where did this guy come up with this theory? Because this is the dumbest crap I've ever heard. I honestly have no clue how this man made it this long. Like how is this guy 80 years old when he literally doesn't clean and smokes poop? How? Someone please explain. That was when he made the serious decision to leave his family in his village. To embrace what he believed was the pursuit of living a healthier lifestyle. He now lives on the outskirts of town and sleeps in a hole in the ground. Okay, this is too much. He sleeps in a hole. This dude sleeps in a hole in the ground. And why, you might ask? Well, actually, I don't even think he knows why. His reasoning is probably something along the lines of, I sleep in a hole so I can feel a deeper connection to the dirt, for the dirt is healing me, and I need to be connected to the dirt for it to use its magical powers and keep me alive forever. Swear to God, this guy just probably started smoking meth six years ago, and this is where it has led him to. Living in a hole in and smoking poop. Don't do meth kids or else you'll end up just like this guy. He feasts daily on carrion, the rotting remains of animals that have been killed by cars or have died of natural causes. He smokes cigarettes given to him by passers-by up to five at a time. When he runs out of cigarettes, he smokes dried animal feces from his pipe. How is he alive? I don't understand how someone can eat roadkill, smoke five cigarettes at once, multiple times, every day, and literally smoke poop and still be alive. I mean, maybe all this really does keep you alive. Maybe this is the cure to death. Because he is in fact like 80 years old, but even if doing this stuff would keep you alive, I'd rather just die at a normal age. Like, if I needed to smoke poop, eat roadkill, not shower, and live in a hole to continue life forever, then I'm not gonna wanna live forever. There's no way this man enjoys his life right now. There's no way he wakes up in the morning and just looks forward to smoking poop. It's not possible. I don't care how drugged up you are or whatever, smoking poop Poop is not something to look forward to. However, there is no medical evidence to support Haji's belief that being covered in filth, smoking animal feces, and living inside a shallow hole in the ground can make a person healthier. While he might not believe in using water to clean his own body, he believes that drinking a lot of water every single day is the key to health. That's why he drinks up to 5 litres a day, albeit out of a large rusty oil can. When it comes to stuff like taking care of his beard or hair, Haji doesn't use clippers or scissors to get the job done. Instead, he prefers to use an open flame. He carefully burns his hair over the fire until it's reached the appropriate length. This man is insane. He is literally insane. Imagine you grow a little bit of a beard and you want to shave it, but instead of shaving it, you just grab a blowtorch and just light your beard on fire. Talk about taking things to the extreme. This guy is crazy, dude. Haji doesn't seem to have a care in the world, nor does he seem to have much in the way of clothing, but he says he wears an old war helmet to keep his head warm during the winter. The last record of the longest time going without bathing belonged to a 66-year-old Indian man, Kalesh Singh, who had not bathed for over 38 years. So like, is there a competition to hold the world record for the longest time without a shower? Are they like trying to one-up another or something? Oh, what's that? You've only went 30 years without showering. How about you try 60 years, you loser? Seriously though, who wants to hold the title for the dirtiest man alive? That is such a shameful title. Like, no one's going to want to go near or talk to the dirtiest man in the world. They don't want to catch whatever diseases he may be carrying. By the way, I can't believe that this dude isn't the only guy who went a long time without showering. This other dude went almost 40 years without a shower himself. Do these people really think that not showering causes like superpowers or something? Seriously though, what are they thinking? There has to be something in it for them. I mean, maybe they're just really lazy and don't have the energy to go shower, so they just live in holes and smoke crap. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that was it. If it was just, this man hasn't showered in 60 years and he says it's because he's lazy. That wouldn't surprise me in the least. I doubt too many people are going to try to break this record of 60 years. I think the longest I have gone without a shower was about 7 days. 
even a week without a shower is bad dude like i think at the most i've gone two days without a shower and it was because i was sleeping at my friend's house and i didn't want to use their shower because it freaked me out but yeah that's just around where this video ends i seriously don't understand why this guy thinks smoking poop eating rotting meat and not showering will make him live longer but to each his own i guess but yeah guys that's all i have for you today i did just want to thank you so much for watching today's video till the end it really really does help me out a lot you guys are the real g's for that don't forget to leave a big fat thumbs up subscribe to the channel and ring that bell and yeah guys i'll see you tomorrow with another video peace out yeah pete has a d to keep it real swallow the pill show me the thrill follow the dream to keep it silly grind on the daily just to stay up late money is great but the fans are what makes it okay he wants to smile on your face never see a frown and on the rainy days he'll keep on grinding till he makes his place in the world